So over here, you can see that I have a bunch of shapes right here. And what you can do with these shapes is that you can go around and then enable a uh, collapsible property inside of these shapes as well. So to do that, if I were to go around onto this particular shape over here under the style, you can see that under properties, you can go around over here and select out collapsible option, uh, which is located right around over here. So you can see that this is a shape. So let's see where is the collapsible option right here. So if you were to go around over here, there you go. Collapsible is here. So once you go around, you get this icon right here. And if you were to click on that, then you can see it collapses out right here where you can click on the plus button to expand it out again as well. You can go around over here and then enable out the collapsible feature for this one as well. So let me just go around over here and see the collapsible feature. So this is what you have. You can click to uh, collapse it out, click to expand this out as you can see this like this as well. You can go around, click to, uh, click to collapse it. And then this is what you have as you can see right here. If you have to uncheck this right here, then you can see that it stays in the collapsible state itself and does not actually expand out again. So if I were to go around over here, enable the collapsible option, you can see the plus button again, and you can get it back as well. Similarly, you can go around, enable it out and collapse it out right here. You can go around, enable collapsible option and collapse it and expand this. So this makes it very, very dynamic right here. Even if the shape is connected and so forth, you can collapse and expand it whenever you want. And you got an interactive diagram. So that is how you can uh, enable the collapse and expand property inside of diagrams.net and utilize it. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.